Hello my crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today with another project share. Um, I had purchased this stamp and die set from Michaels, this unicorn set. It's a Recollections brand. And then I also had picked up this Sizzix die um, from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was last week. Um, I shared with you in my haul video. So I wanted to share with you the rosettes that I created um, using uh, both of these products. Um, this is what that Sizzix die looks like. If you didn't see my haul video, it comes with this die right here. And it also comes with this die. This die actually creates three different size rosettes, which is really, really awesome. I only am um, going to be sharing two of the sizes today, but I am going to come back and do a tutorial on how I made my rosette, so stay tuned for that video. Okay, so let's get started. So here are my small rosettes that I made using that die, and it's super, super pretty. I love the way it looks. I have this shiny um, mesh. What is this called? I can't even think of this trim. My friend Crafty Poodle Mom here on YouTube, Siv, hey Siv, if you're watching, she gifted me a bunch of this. And so it was perfect for this unicorn themed rosette. So I added it to this rosette. I used a stitched heart that I got from Melina Crafts. And then I stuck on a really cute um, unicorn sticker from Michaels. So that is my first one. Really, really cute, love it. There's that one. And then I made this one right here. This one is slightly different. I used um, some ribbon um, on the base. I used a felt flower, and then I used the sticker from Michaels, and then of course the rosette, and then on the inside of the rosette, I have it um, layered with um, uh, glitter that I had picked up from Michaels, that Recollections glitter, really, really pretty. And then the next one that I have to share with you is, oops, this one right here. And again, using this really pretty trim, I layered it with um, a couple of die cuts, and then this is a mermaid sticker. And I just love the way it looks. I love this rosette. Now, if you don't have this rosette die and you don't want to purchase another rosette die, you can create this rosette using a border punch. Um, and I'm more than happy to share with you how to do that. Just let me know in the comment section below. I can do a tutorial on how to do that. But it's super simple and easy. So super, super cute. And then the last one I'm gonna share with you is the larger one. And let me just zoom in so you can see. This creates the middle size rosette. And then the next size is the really, really big rosette. And I am gonna create that. And I'll share with you what that looks like when I um, do this tutorial on how to put these rosettes together. But look how super pretty this is, you guys. I mean, look how gorgeous it is. I used that really pretty glitter that I picked up just recently from Michaels. Um, I think it's the Backyard Table Glitter Set. It came with like maybe 12 or 14 bottles of glitter and flower sequins. So I edged it with glitter glue and then um, layered it with the really pretty um, teal glitter around the edges of the rosette. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And then as you can see, I have dyes layered I have three circle dies layered, and then I have the beautiful unicorn that I stamped and die cut, and I added a couple of roses from my stash. I glittered them up and um, made them shiny. I stamped out wishing you a magical day. I took a gold marker and edged around the sentiment. Um, I used, again, this eyelash trim that was gifted to me from Civ, and this bow die right here is a Dear Lizzie bow die that I picked up from Tuesday morning, I believe last year. Um, I'm using one of these sequin bows. Somebody gifted me these, and I apologize. I'm not sure who gifted me these. It may have been Tara or someone else, but I'm not sure. So anyway, thank you to whoever you are, but decided to layer, make a double layer bow, and use this beautiful sparkly paper that I believe I picked up from Michaels. And um, I just love the way it came out. And then on the top, I did add my pretty trim that I recently picked up from Hobby Lobby and I just layered it like that, and it creates a little handle so that this person that I gifted to can hang it up on their wall like that. So I just thought that was a really great idea. I'll try to zoom out just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But um, that was my intentions of adding this pretty um, ribbon up here so that the recipient could hang it in their craft room. I thought this would be really, really nice. And then on the back of the rosette, I just layered it with a stitched, um, a stitched uh, circle rosette and then this one right here and I just did my handmade stamp to finish off the back. 
but no one's really going to look at the back because if they hang it on their wall, it'll just look like that. But it's just a nice keepsake um, from me and whoever I give it to, hopefully they will be able to hang it up and enjoy it. I thought it was super cute and it goes along with the whole unicorn theme that I've been doing. Um, and that is it, you guys. Um, that is my project share for today. Please uh, like this video, share it, uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, of course, just leave it in the comment section below. Check the description box for more information on today's video on products that I used. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.